If my dad hears about something interesting happening along the Passaic River, he will immediately drop everything and race to check it out. Today was no different. When BaristaNet.com called with a reader tip saying that there was no water flowing over the dam at Little Falls, he packed up the truck and we went to see for ourselves. It was a gorgeous night with a mellow breeze, barely any current, no bugs, and locals barbecuing on the riverbank. Our first destination was the mill because we wanted to get a look at the falls from a safe vantage point. From the lookout above the falls, we could see that it was completely dry with no water flowing over the lip. This is something neither of us had ever seen, and we hopped back into the truck and drove to one of my dad's secret launching spots along the Passaic. All right, well, here we are, right at the falls. Normally, you'd have at least a foot of water going over this uh, today. Obviously, there's nothing. Um, it's a little scary even approaching this dam even though the water's low, just because I've seen it ripping so hard that I've never allowed myself to get this close in a boat. Um, so when we got that tip from that Brees and that reader, uh, I had to run right out and check it out for myself. It's certainly a lot more relaxing than coming here to see the floods. You come here to see the floods and sometimes you fear for your life. You come here tonight, it's a nice breeze, it's really cool. And, uh, it's a nice peaceful time out here. I feel bad for the fish stuck in those pools because yeah. um, they're pretty hot. I mean, they're cooling down right now, but you know the sun was beating down on those pools all day long. Those fish are probably very uncomfortable and they're also easy prey for whatever birds are around. Although some of those fish look so big, I don't know if a bird can handle them. It's very shallow up here. I always pictured it as really deep but it's not, it's just, it's actually just rock, solid rock. Whoa. Look at it. <laughs> yeah, should have brought my fishing pole. <laughs> See if we can get a shot of that. Oh yeah, look at that. Thanks for splashing me. Yeah, I just got splashed in the mouth. Ew. That's like a big carp right there. That was a cool little show. Yeah. Hi. I've actually, during semi-normal water, have stood right over there. And I'll show you the footage of that right now. And I guess they're fixing a hole because we got all sorts of construction equipment up here to the left. Ladders and cement that they're pouring. Um, so I guess they're, they're taking advantage of the low water to make repairs on the dam. In my opinion, and probably uh, it's a shared opinion from the people who get flooded every year, is that this dam is obsolete. It was here to power the mill, the carpet mill, Beatty's mill. Um, and now, of course, they're just apartment buildings and they don't need a dam here. If they were to take this dam down, it would change the whole flood pattern of the river and alleviate flooding upstream. Whoa. I gotta say, I was expecting more of a sewage smell and I'm not getting too much of that out of here. Usually when it's low, because the sewage treatment plant is just upstream, mm -hmm. it really stinks. Today it's not so bad. And as you can see, um, whether the water's high or whether it's low, there's always a spectacle here at Little Falls and there's always people um, come here to see. They have lines here, so I guess they do work on it and they divert it to water someplace else. So they let this happen, they didn't. Right. Go up to I thought it was yeah. just like no rain. I'm like, I've never seen like this. That's what I thought too, they, yeah. They painted this, it looks like they did do like the lines. I like saw that, the spray paint. Here. And then actually over there where we just were, we saw a lot of construction going on. They're probably just like fixing holes and everything. Oh, that's, what that's why I, I heard they once a year they come and they clean this out, like all the garbage that's in there, they clean it. Well, I guess that clears up the mystery. It's not the drought and it's the wow. work. That's what they're telling me, yeah. Nothing to worry about, North Jersey. You can still run your uh, lawn sprinklers and fill your pools. The Passaic River will still be here if you do.
So this is Wheeler on Tabanez reporting for Barista Net. Over and out.